Hi guys, thanks for joining me again. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Anne. On my channel, I review foreign international content. I like to say we travel around the world, sitting on our couches is just fantastic. And you never know which country we're gonna land next. Um, I think last time we're in South Korea. I believe we've also been in Indonesia. Um, Africa and today we are in Spain so fantastic and this show today is called the cook of customer just a fantastic show on Netflix I felt like it's a historical period uh, piece uh, I believe from the 1700s but they addressed a lot of issues um, and especially that was also happening then um, we do see where they talk about marriage there is um, uh, people who are gay and how they were looked at. Um, they also talked about extramarital affairs. Um, they talk about race. Um, I mean, it had everything. Then there was the classism of the ones who live upstairs and the ones who are downstairs, uh, the help versus the, um, the people who have hired them. There was also um, about the monarchy and the king and the queen. I mean, it had it all corruption and um, there was even uh, like fights and all kinds of stuff. I felt like it really gave us a taste of everything and it was very well done. Now I'll let you know that this one does offer dabbing. So, you know, for some of you, or if you get tired of the subtitle, um, reading you can change it to English where you listen to it in English but I always say you know what I say right at least one episode you should try to listen to the whole entire episode in the language of the country's origin just because it's not the same like when it's translated right like it just have that extra oomph you know what I mean when it's the original language it just the uh, nuances the way they speak and all that stuff you know you, you catch it so much better when it's uh, from the original language. But anyway, without further ado, let's get to this one. Um, so when the show first starts, um, we are introduced to Diego, who is married. He's the one who owns Customer, and he lives there with his mom. And we also told he has a brother who, whose brother happens to be black. And the story is told that he's adopted and lives with them which uh, is interesting and they do explore, you know, the challenges of having um, a brother, a son who is black, where although he may be family, his skin color still comes becomes an issue where some people will never treat him as an equal, if you will. Anyway, when the show opens, uh, Diego's married, riding the horse with his wife um, and the horse for his wife gets spooked and she ends up passing away. So the first couple episodes, Diego is pretty depressed, doesn't want to work, doesn't want to do anything. The king is like, um, you need to call him and tell him, we know what happened to him, it's sad, but he needs to move on. We gotta move on, you gotta come back to work. I need him. Um, so they're trying to get Diego to go back to normal life. By the way, the king in this show was, woo, I mean, <laughs> one crazy king um anyway eventually diego is, a, is able to pull himself up together and goes back to work and then in the meantime we're introduced to clara who is uh brought to um customer to become the cook but we also told she's been through a traumatic situation with her dad who goes missing and in her mind um um, he's gone and she is really dealing with um, an issue of anxiety where if she goes outside, she just just passes uh, passes out. Like it, um, it just uh, overwhelms her to be outside after her father died. She just can't deal with um, being outside in the sunshine. And actually it shows where when they had to bring her from, wherever they were bringing her from, I believe it was a convent to customer the father there had to give her some medicine just to get her to get in the courage in the courage to get her to um customer so we really get the feeling like oh my god she's really going through it with the anxiety and um 
it just can't be outside it's almost like claustrophobia and she just will faint when she's outside so anyway she comes to customer and she turns out to be a fantastic cook i mean everybody upstairs is like who made this food and omg just fantastic food she loves cooking she's very well versed in um ingredients and all that stuff and everybody's just like wow who is that girl so she starts to become popular and obviously diego is like i need to meet the girl who is uh the cook and then obviously as they meet these we kind of get the feeling there's chemistry there but then also you know as a viewer in the 1700s there's no way the help and the people upstairs would get together as equals so that's an issue there and then in the middle of all that we're introduced to uh, different other couples there's one couple who she's married to this old guy but is having an affair with the young guy and um, causes all kinds of trouble the scene where the old man finds them and he proceeds to have his wife do you know what you have to watch the scene i don't do spoilers and the lover has to watch that was messed up that was messed up that was really messed up um so there's that part you have to watch to see um she's almost like trying to have her old husband taken out so she can have her life with her young lover that was crazy and then obviously then we're introduced to this other guy who always hangs around diego's mother and he uh really at the end is what really wants to hurt diego and you have to keep watching uh because he brings this girl who apparently it sounds like he helped her but the girl is really um uh really being used uh he paid her debt brings her over here trying to convince uh diego to marry her and and the point is if diego marries her then she becomes the wife of diego and takes over customer so you know the power she gets power and obviously this guy can um use her and in the midst of all that he's also sleeping with her and she's naive and she gets pregnant i know the story omg and then they lie to diego that it's his um he's the one who got her pregnant because um she ends up drugging him oh mg and they end up in bed together so diego is thinking oh it must be my child but we as a viewer we know it's not his it was the other guy who's trying to trick her so a really fantastic show as you can tell the plot just keeps thickening and it's just fantastic and you have to keep watching with the girl who gets pregnant because she also becomes close to diego's brother who's black that was interesting oh and by the way it was also very kind of hard to watch when the brother is kidnapped they're trying to like send him out to slavery and oof, that was actually hard to watch just to it goes to show people black people are not safe even in, even when they're trying to be given refuge they, they were not safe but really all in all a really fantastic show and i had to jump on here and say you have to watch the uh the cook of customer uh i believe it's based out of books by fernando um munes is what i saw so i thought it was very well done the acting was fantastic oh i love the house and i love that old victorian looks to everything when it's so prestigious looking I feel like it did an excellent job. I also love that they explore the relationship of the people who work downstairs where you know there's a couple that want to get married. Uh there was a girl who was there who was a little bit um let's just say special needs that they were taking care of. You have to keep watching. That was a little sad to watch how that ended up. Um but just fantastic. I loved the whole show. Um I love the whole um upstairs versus downstairs a little bit like a Downton Abbey ish if you ever watched Downton Abbey but a really fantastic show do yourself a favor and watch it um it's on Netflix uh it's called that cast the cook of customer do yourself a favor and watch it it's fantastic and like I said it's on Netflix 
Thank you once again for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, do give me a like. Um, and I'll see you again when I'm reviewing another excellent uh, foreign international show. Deuces.